Welcome to InfoBlend. In this video, we will delve deep into the life, ideology, and impact of Adolf Hitler, one of history's most controversial figures. Join us as we uncover the truth behind the man who shaped the course of history. Adolf Hitler's early life was marked by struggles and ambitions that would shape his future. Born on April 20, 1889, in Braunau am Inn, Austria, Hitler was the fourth of six children in the family. His father, Alois Hitler, was a customs official, and his mother, Clara Hitler, was a homemaker. Growing up in a tumultuous period in Europe, Hitler experienced the effects of World War I and the Treaty of Versailles, which imposed harsh penalties on Germany. After the war, Hitler, then a young man, found himself adrift and disillusioned. He struggled to find his place in post-war society. Despite his passion for art, Hitler faced rejection from the Vienna Academy of Fine Arts, a blow that deeply affected him. It was during this time of personal and professional setbacks that Hitler's political ambitions began to take shape. Hitler became increasingly drawn to nationalist and anti-Semitic ideologies that blamed Jews and other minorities for Germany's woes. He found a sense of purpose and belonging in the emerging far-right political movements, eventually joining the German Workers' Party, which would later become the National Socialist German Workers' Party, NSDAP, or the Nazi Party. Through his charisma and oratory skills, Hitler quickly rose through the ranks of the party, eventually becoming its leader. His ambitions grew, fueled by a desire to restore Germany to its former glory and rid it of what he saw as internal enemies. By the early 1930s, Hitler's political ambitions had crystallized into a vision of a racially pure and militarily strong Germany. He capitalized on the economic hardships and political instability of the time, promising to make Germany great again. Adolf Hitler's early life and ambitions set the stage for the rise of one of history's most notorious figures. His journey from a struggling artist to the leader of a powerful political movement would have far-reaching consequences for Germany and the world. In 1933, Adolf Hitler became Chancellor of Germany marking the beginning of the Third Reich in a dark chapter in history. Hitler wasted no time in consolidating power and establishing a dictatorship under the banner of the Nazi party. The propaganda machine of the Third Reich glorified Hitler as a messianic figure, promising to restore Germany's greatness and eradicate perceived enemies. Hitler's charisma and oratory skills captivated the masses, leading to widespread support for his regime. The Reichstag fire of 1933 provided Hitler with a pretext to crack down on political opposition and suspend civil liberties. Using fear and intimidation, Hitler and the Nazis marginalized political opponents, silenced dissent, and consolidated their grip on power. The Nazi regime implemented a series of discriminatory laws known as the Nuremberg Laws, which stripped Jews of their rights and citizenship. Anti-Semitic propaganda fueled hatred and intolerance, leading to widespread persecution and violence against Jewish communities. Hitler's aggressive foreign policy and territorial ambitions escalated tensions in Europe, leading to the outbreak of World War II in 1939. The invasion of Poland marked the beginning of a devastating conflict that would engulf the world and claim millions of lives. Through a combination of military conquests and diplomatic maneuvers, Hitler expanded Nazi Germany's territory, imposing Nazi ideology and racial policies on conquered lands. The atrocities committed by the Nazi regime, including the Holocaust, remain a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked power and extremism. World War II, triggered by Adolf Hitler's expansionist policies, began in 1939 with the invasion of Poland. Hitler's military strategies, including the Blitzkrieg, led to early successes, as Germany swiftly conquered much of Europe. As the war progressed, Hitler's regime intensified its persecution of Jews, Roma, disabled individuals, and other undesirables. The systematic genocide that became known as the Holocaust claimed the lives of six million Jews and millions of others. In concentration camps and through mass shootings, the Holocaust was not just a result of military operations but also a meticulously planned genocide, with death camps like Auschwitz-Birkenau serving as extermination centers. Survivors' testimonies and historical records provide chilling accounts of the horrors inflicted upon innocent people. 
The liberation of the concentration camps by Allied forces in 1945 exposed the full extent of Nazi atrocities. The world was left to grapple with the moral and ethical implications of the Holocaust, as well as the question of how such horrors could have been allowed to occur. The Nuremberg trials, held after the war, sought to bring Nazi leaders to justice for their crimes against humanity. While some were executed or imprisoned, the trials highlighted the need for international laws to prevent such atrocities in the future. Today, the memory of the Holocaust is preserved through memorials, museums, and educational programs worldwide. It stands as a stark reminder of the consequences of hatred, prejudice, and unchecked power, urging us to never forget and to strive for a more just and compassionate. As the Allied forces closed in on Germany in 1945, Hitler retreated to his underground bunker in Berlin. On April 30, 1945, facing imminent defeat, Hitler took his own life, choosing suicide over capture. With Hitler's death, the Nazi regime crumbled, and Germany surrendered unconditionally in May 1945, marking the end of World War II in Europe. The post-war years saw Germany divided and occupied by the Allied powers, as efforts were made to rebuild. The Nuremberg Trials, held between 1945 and 1946, prosecuted prominent Nazi leaders for war crimes, crimes against humanity, and other offenses. The trials set a precedent for international justice and established the principle that individuals could be held accountable for actions taken on behalf of their government. Hitler's legacy is complex and continues to be debated. While his regime's crimes are undeniable, his impact on history cannot be ignored. The division of Germany and the onset of the Cold War were direct consequences of World War II, shaping the geopolitical landscape for decades to come. In Germany, efforts to confront the past and prevent a resurgence of Nazism led to the establishment of democratic institutions and a commitment to human rights. However, the specter of neo-Nazism and far-right extremism remains a challenge, reminding us of the enduring legacy of Hitler's ideology. Today, the memory of the Holocaust and the lessons of World War II are preserved through memorials, museums, and educational programs. The survivors' stories serve as a reminder of the resilience of the human spirit and the importance of standing up against hatred and intolerance. Adolf Hitler's life is a stark reminder of the horrors of war, the dangers of totalitarianism, and the importance of standing up against tyranny. As we reflect on his legacy, let us learn from history and strive to build a world of peace, tolerance, and understanding. Thank you for watching this detailed analysis of Adolf Hitler's life and legacy. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe to InfoBlend for more engaging content. Stay tuned for our next video, where we delve into another intriguing topic. Until then, remember to blend information with insight.